Welcome to Phuket, Thailand. You all might be wondering why. Why, Chris? Are you walking around next to the highway? Well, I am going to Patong Beach. 22 kilometers that direction. The time right now is half past 10. I just arrived here from Saigon, Vietnam. But as the guards would have it, and I bet they're smiling at me, laughing a little bit, but it's okay. I take the challenge. But as the guards would have it, the hotel I booked was in this weird, very weird odd location. And I, I got a cab from the airport and the driver, he was also looking at Google Maps for quite a while, you know, with his eyebrows going all the way down. He was like, he didn't speak English, but he tried to tell me that, I, I suppose he tried to tell me that this place is, it's not the place I want to go. But anyways, I did not understand. And after sitting in the car for 10 minutes, he decided to just go to the destination. And the destination is also on Google Maps, so it's quite confusing. Anyways, we arrived at the destination. I tried to check in, but the place did not exist. And apparently, the place is 20 kilometers this way. Or more, actually. So, so here we are. It's 29 degrees. A good mix of sunshine and clouds. And I got my big bag. And I'm armed with one liter of water. So this will be exciting. Hopefully, we can either get a ride on the way or find a place to rent a motorbike. But as for now, we're just gonna walk. And I feel good, I feel strong, I feel rested. And I mean, you know, it is what it is. Some people would probably get pissed and be like, oh God, now what, oh, blah, 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 blah. But you know, when you travel like I do, I mean, I have a plan, but my plan is not, it's not a very meticulous plan. I want to go somewhere and I just go. And then I just kind of take it on the fly, you know, improvise a bit. And usually it works out very well. And sometimes you end up in situations like this, where it's a bit, um, what can we say, a bit interesting. So yeah, here we are. Got a bit of a way to go. And yeah, I mean, you can see the, I don't know if you can tell, but in the distance we have the, the good old mountains of Southern Thailand. Very beautiful. And I mean, a lot of people, they, when they think of Phuket, they think about the beaches. And I don't know if you can tell, but there is no, I am not close to the beach. Anyways, for you who don't know, Phuket is the biggest island in Thailand. It's in the most southern part of Thailand. And it is connected with a bridge. Yo. Hey, yo, my man, what's up? What's up? <laughs> and it is connected by a bridge. Obviously, I flew here. But if you want to leave, not by plane, you usually just drive over the bridge. And I guess this place is rumored for a lot of different things. Partying, diving, probably lady boys. I mean, I, I'm just guessing here, you know, shooting from the hip, if you know what I'm saying. But the reason why I came here is because this place is also famously known for having good Muay Thai gyms. So here we are. Another thing I like to do, I like to dive, I like to swim. So, my main mission here is going to be to find a good Muay Thai gym and train. Besides that, obviously I want to enjoy the sunshine and the beaches because in Vietnam, where I just were, there wasn't an awful lot of sunshine. It was very moist and wet. And I mean, we are right now almost in the middle of January. So back home, the weather is very shit. It's dark, it's cold, it's wet, it's frozen. So yeah. I want to enjoy this place, but my main mission is to 
find a place to train. So yeah, let's see what's gonna happen. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll survive. I mean, we always do. We survived the Russian mobsters in Natrang. And the crack horse. And the robbers. So, you know, nothing can really stop me. At least that's how I feel. And that is my mentality. And that is how we speak things into existence. I don't know if you heard of this concept called self-hypnosis. I'm a big fan of it. Whenever I feel like I need energy, I just speak out loud to myself and tell myself how magnificent I am, how strong, wise, brave, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, anyways, that was a bit of a detour in terms of the context of what I'm talking about. But anyways, I will continue down this, this road. We'll see what happens. All right. So, we've been walking for about 30 minutes. I've been flailing my arm out, trying to hitchhike. No luck. But I mean, I am big. I am sweating bullets. I'm carrying a lot of shit. So, I can understand why people don't want to pick me up. It's all right. Hmm, some fruit. That's very good. Hi. Yeah, it's too early for me to eat breakfast. Still gotta wait like an hour or so before I will allow myself to feast. But it's all good. So yeah, as I was saying, I was, I've been trying to hitchhike. No luck. But you know, it's all good. It is what it is. A couple of dudes has been stopping up, trying to sell me shit. And I actually also got an offer to rent a motorbike, but it was very, very expensive. I think the guy was seeing me and thought I was desperate, so. But I'm not. I still got a lot. Yo. Hey, yo, my man. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not desperate. I'm actually just chilling. It's all good. Still got my water. So yeah, anyways, the walk continues. All right, so just drop the bags. Apparently, I should be able to rent a motorbike here. I see the sign. Daily, monthly, long time, blah, blah. So, I'm gonna call this number. And hopefully, we can rent something. So yeah, but before we do anything, Grab some water. So yeah, so far we've been walking around three kilometers. <sighs> yeah, you gotta stay hydrated. The heat is immense. So, I'm gonna try and call and see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, so, I called this place, no motorbikes. And the guy, he was pretty nice. He said I should call other places to check if they have motorbikes. So I just called and called and called around. And apparently no one has a fucking motorbike right now, so, so we walked for nothing. Anyways, I just called up a grab. It's like a cab. Let's see what they say in here. You can see. Hmm. What is he? he? He should be on his way. Four minutes. Yeah, okay. So, no motorbike yet. 
and unfortunately I would have to pay for the scrap, but hey, it is what it is. I just like to have the freedom of transportation on my own. But it's all good. So, I'm gonna snatch a shirt. Probably this guy probably don't want me to be all sweating and disgusting in his car. So yeah, let's get dressed and uh, let's get going. So here we are. We got picked up by Mr. Joe. Yeah. At least that's his English name, <laughs> not his real name. So yeah, on our way to Patong in this this big bus. We got this. Well, it's not a big bus, but it's a bus. We got a whole bus for ourselves. Nice and air conditioned. So yeah, I can't really complain. So now we're just now we're just chilling for a bit. We made it to Patang. So, just got out of the bus. We are apparently somewhere close to the center. I will try and find some food. And after that, I will find my hotel. Because I gotta drop this big ass bag. It's not really convenient to walk around with. Apparently this is like some little town square. I see some shops, a lot of clothes, some restaurants with some food. Yo, my man, I'm good. How are you? I'm from Denmark. Good day, good day. Oh, good day. Good. Thank you. Yeah, had a good time. I had a brilliant week. Nesten got this. Brother, where are you from? I'm originally from Nepal, but I will live here 20 years now. Ah, you got a crazy mustache going. Le what do you call it in Denmark? What do you call it? Skate. Skate. Yeah, like yeah. A Phoenix State, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you come but, on the day? Uh, yeah, I just arrived. Uh, so I can't, I'm actually here to... Um, What's your name? Christopher. Christopher. Are you the YouTuber uh, the, in, the, in the, uh, Nepal? Did you be in Nepal also? I see some Nepal in the Swedish... I haven't, I haven't, I haven't uh, been to Nepal, but yes, I am a YouTuber. Yeah, but I actually, I actually came here to train uh, Muay Thai. Uh, Muay Thai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your YouTube name? My YouTube, it's uh, Chris Crooks. Chris Crooks. Okay. Chris Crooks. I will follow you there. Huh? Definitely, right? my man. Okay. But anyways, I haven't, uh, I haven't had breakfast yet. Oh, breakfast not yet? Nice. Nah, good break. This is a good place to breakfast. That, that place? One, yeah, that one, yeah. Over there? That restaurant, yeah. Ah. That restaurant. Where do you stay in hotel? Uh, right down here somewhere it's called Did uh you find the hotel already room yeah yeah i got oh, a place no, i got a place yeah, yeah. but i'm just gonna walk around a bit and check it out yeah. and uh, get a breakfast that is good one it's a good one good place yeah. this is a good place, place to, like eat do, they, do they have chicken over there everything they have everything every seafood chicken everything you can get there okay. and in the night time this is the, all the food all, all the, the food, food. Night okay food market all about two three o'clock is starting open okay thank you what's your name johnny how Huh? Johnny? Johnny. Johnny, nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Are you good? <laughs> Thank you, you too. Okay, I'm gonna get yeah, some chicken. Find that one chicken yeah. All right, all right, all right. Catch you later. Hmm. Okay, so let's let's listen to the advice of Johnny and get some chicken over here. <laughs> it's always strange. I was in Thailand last year. And it's funny how these people, they learn phrases from your country. Oh, another thing that I, that I really enjoy about Thailand is that <clears throat> most of the cars, they look like something out of need to speed. They got that shit all pimped up. Hi. Hmm. Soups and shit. Fried chicken, cashew nut. Mm, this is a proper restaurant. Slightly expensive, huh? I mean, I'm hungry though. Hmm. This is this big, big portion. 
a lot of chicken one person one person but it is is it's it a, a lot of chicken yeah chicken so i can become strong yeah okay i try one of these i must steam rice uh steam rice how much uh, 30 30 yeah mm, nah, i'm good i just need the chicken need one yeah one okay. i take a seat okay Number 10. Okay. I'll take number 10. It's good. What yeah. Uh, nah, I'm okay. No water. drink. No need. Water? Free? No free. Nah, well, I got water, so no thank you. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So here we are. This restaurant. Already regretting it slightly. Because, I mean, to be honest, I prefer street food. But hey, it is what it is. We gotta get some breakfast. It's been a long day so far. Traveling a lot. So, let's see. These, these people are probably gonna rip us off a bit, but hey, fuck it. Let's eat. Alright, so this is it. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Let's see how it tastes. I'm pretty hungry, I gotta be honest. Not bad, not bad. enjoy about Thai food is how they're able to mix so many flavors it's incredible what I mean yeah this is pretty good I'm also pretty hungry but as always I prefer the street food that is actually usually best and cheapest but anyways let's finish uh, let's finish this feast then we off to the hotel drop the bags and then I'm gonna check out the beach So we just finished the feast, it was pretty good. I was so excited to eat that I actually forgot to describe how it was, but yeah. Basically it was chicken with some vegetables and some cashews, and it was dipped in this kind of like a bit sweet soy sauce. It tasted really good actually. But uh, a little bit expensive for my taste, but it's all right. Now we're just walking through this weird place with a lot of little, looks like little bars or something. Yeah, yeah, I see the signs up there. Just gotta look up. So these tiny little bars. Looks pretty interesting. Oh, and then we got some mountains going on up there. That looks really nice. So yeah, the quest continues. <clears throat> gotta reach the hotel. It should be right around the corner. Right now, the time is a quarter past 12. And apparently, check-in is at two. That is like a pretty common thing around here, in Asia at least, to my experience. So yeah, we're gonna see. Hopefully we can check in when we arrive, otherwise they will probably charge me a little extra, but let's see, maybe we can talk our way out of it. Anyways, here we are. It's been a bit of a, what can you say? A bit of a rough arrival. But that is not gonna knock me out. Nah, it's all good. So basically the place that I had booked here in Patang, I arrived and she said that the online booking system is out of order. So therefore I cannot get the price that I booked for. And then she gave me a different price, very expensive price. So I said, no, thank you. And now I just checked into another hotel since it's uh, still a bit early. I will be able to get my room in like an hour. So I just dropped my bag in the lobby. And now we're gonna, now we're gonna walk around a bit, just chill. So yeah, it is what it is. Let's go check things out. So 
So we just got ourselves a fruit shake with banana and milk. Ah, that was very refreshing. And if you look to the front, I don't know if you can see it, but there's blue water down there, right down there. So, almost at the beach. It's gonna be interesting to see how good this place is. And as I mentioned earlier, I would really like to go snorkel. I actually got my, my mask and my snorkel with me. So hopefully there is some good places around here to do that. Probably not right off this beach. I wouldn't expect. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. a little walk, see what the beach has to offer. It looks pretty damn jam-packed over here. Hm. Damn, this sand is smooth and crystallized. What the fuck is going on with that? There's like, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's like, looks like it's full of glitter. Ah. Damn, the sand is smooth. Feels real good. Last time I was on the beach was in Nha Trang in Vietnam <laughs> and yeah you know a lot of things happened but the thing I want to say was that there the sand was like it was more like rocks Woo! now this is good now this is real real good damn okay so the thing is I got my passport on me I got my money on me I got my credit cards, got my phone, so I won't be dipping in the water right now, I will save that experience for later. So yeah, now we're just gonna walk a bit and check it out. I see the jet skis here. What's up my man? Nah, not right now, just arrived, maybe later, okay? Come to me. Okay, then you give me special price. Yes. Alright brother. My name is Pia. How? My name is Pia. Pia? Yes. My name is Christopher. This yes. is your spot? All right, my man. Hmm. I mean, wow. Hello. Look at the scenery up there. <laughs> the scenery is pretty dope. I probably tried jet ski one of these days, just for the fun of it. <laughs> 